Hi, this is Rusha from Overdrive and we are at the Hyundai factory on the outskirts of Chennai where we are about to go in and witness the making of the new Hyundai Verna. The Hyundai factory is located at Irungod Kotai in Tamil Nadu and is the sole manufacturing facility in the country. That's the reason why the factory has a fully integrated setup. This means everything from the engine to the body to the assembly takes place at the factory. The Hyundai Motor India plant is also the third largest Hyundai factory in the world and has the capacity to produce over 6 lakh units annually. Of this, a third of the cars are exported. The factory is divided into two phases, plant 1 and plant 2. Each with a dedicated setup for a specific platform and type of car. Plant 1 was set up in 1997 and that's where Hyundai's previous success stories, the Santro, Santro Zing and Accent were produced. Currently, Plant 1 produces vehicles such as the Creta, Elantra and Tucson. In all, the plant produces 6 models. Plant 2 produces the Grand i10, Accent, Elite i20 and the new Verna. Now, both plants have five common manufacturing processes. These are press, body, paint, engine, and final assembly. Our day began at the press shop, where the chief supervisor, Mr. Rao, took us through the various processes, which include planking, stamping, and finally, panel storage. Huge coils of steel shipped from Hyundai steel manufacturing plants outside India are brought into the press shop. In the blanking stage, these steel rolls are uncoiled and cut to size after being washed thoroughly. Depending on the production plan for the day, a specific die is selected and loaded onto the stamping machine. We could see a series of such doors being stamped out of bare sheet metal in a matter of few seconds. After the stamping process, one out of every 50 body panels are checked for quality compliance before being stacked in the storage area. From the press shop, these body panels are transferred to the body shop where they are fused together to form the body of the car. There are a multitude of conveyor belts that carry various body parts such as the door subframe, car flow and roof into the robotic assembly area. This is where the perfectly synchronized robotic arms work their magic, spot welding the car together. It was quite fascinating to see how these machines perform the intricate process of putting the body together. The shell then moves to the paint area which is out of bounds to us. We were told that the entire body is dipped into a huge bath which contains a solution that coats the body panels with an anti-corrosive element. After this, each panel is painted with the seventh application forming the final coat. As the car moves down the assembly line, there is a point where it meets its drivetrain. This section is called chassis marriage. A platform on rails carries the drivetrain, which is then attached to the car's body by the workers.
About 90% of the human workforce at the Hyundai factory is present on the assembly line. All around, we could see parts moving in an orderly fashion. An expansive conveyor belt system moves the car body to the assembly line where humans began to attach the lights, fill the fluids, fix the seat and dashboard. All what's left now is to reattach the doors and fit the wheels. Just before the car rolls off the assembly line, the workers perform final inspections where they ensure all panels are aligned and the paint shade is even. Another set of workers also ensure the interior trim is secured properly and all lights are functional. Through the entire process of building the Verna, we noticed how at each stage, Hyundai has ensured that quality is never compromised. The mere fact that cars for both domestic and international markets are put together in the same assembly line at the same time shows that Hyundai builds cars to the same exacting standards for all markets. The Hyundai Verna, or the Accent as it's called in the international markets, is the exact same car. By now you must have seen how Hyundai set up one world-class manufacturing facility in India. The cars made here match the quality standards of cars that are sold abroad. And it goes to show Hyundai's commitment towards quality in the Indian market. The Hyundai Verna you see behind me has been a remarkable success, having gathered over 26,000 bookings within the four months that it was launched in India. And Hyundai has already delivered close to 20,000 Vernas on the streets today. It's very unprecedented of a car to enter a market and rise straight to the top. And it just goes to show how good the Hyundai Verna really is.